We knew about a facility at the Engineering Research Development Center at the Army Corps of Engineers campus in Vicksburg, Mississippi. It was a pawn that was in disrepair. They needed to use it for uh, rapid repair, levee breach testing, research and testing. Uh, we approached the Corps of Engineers ERDC. Uh, we were able to set up an agreement to go in and line that upper source basin of that facility with the RhinoMat 1000 product. It's a hydraulic system of three ponds in succession, an upper source basin, a middle test basin, a lower catch basin. The catch basin typically stays full. They can pump water up to the source basin at the top, let that water come through a spillway into a test basin where they can construct model levees, breach those levees, and then do training exercises for rapidly repairing those levees while the water is coming through. The beginning step of this installation process was the site work. And so we contracted a, a local company, a local site work contractor out of the Vicksburg, Mississippi area, a company called Vinco Incorporated. Patrick Vinzon is the president. They've done a lot of work at the ERDC campus before. They were the right contractor to come in and do exactly what we needed to do in terms of refurbishing the pond, excavating out material on the bottom, getting it back to its capacity and shape so that we could go in and install the Rhino Mat 1000. Now the Rhino Mat 1000 was prefabricated in Traverse City, Michigan by a company called EPI. They actually take bulk rolls of the Rhino Mat material and weld those in their fabrication facility before the material is brought to the site. Uh, the material was brought out to the site and was installed by a company called Erosion Control Systems or ECS of Florida. And the vice president of uh, construction in that company is a gentleman named Charlie Ellingsworth. He was on site to manage that installation. So in this project, there was really a, a fast track schedule and a time crunch. We basically had less than a week to get this project installed. Had we brought out individual rolls of conventional HDP geomembrane, it would have been somewhere from 50 to 60 individual welds uh, with a large crew trying to finish that installation. Whereas with this fabricated Rhino Mat 1000, all those welds were done in a factory condition before it was brought to the job site. There was essentially one connection seam done down in the middle of the project that greatly, greatly reduced that time of installation. Uh, once that welded field seam was uh, put in place, then the edges of the Rhino Mat 1000 were actually buried in a perimeter anchor trench in that anchor trench backfilled. There was a large concrete spillway uh, at the, uh, the bottom of the source pond where we actually had to do a technique called battening where we uh, physically connected the geomembrane to the concrete with, uh, with some batten strips and bolts uh, to be able to uh, create a watertight seal against the concrete. Overall, the experience was good. Um, the product opens up very easily, um, pulls nice compared to some of the other products that may stick a little bit, um, welds extremely well. Um, the fabricated panels are real nice when you can cover half acre plus with one sheet. Um, install an acre pond in two hours basically uh, with 10 or 12 people. Fabricated geo membrane gives you the larger panels, 15 to 30,000 square feet or above depending on the thickness. Uh, it minimizes your field seams uh, 10 to 1 most times versus like a 23 foot wide sheet of HD or something like that. So the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is the world's foremost authority on civil engineering, water resources, design and construction, uh, facilities for flood control, water management all over the United States. It was a really special and unique opportunity for Owens Corning to go to this Engineer Research Development Center facility with the Army Corps. The Army Corps trusted our product to be able to solve the issues that they had at this research facility.